Hi everyone, my name is Deepak Nair and I'm from the UCCX DAC team. I work as a customer support engineer in the UCCX Technical Assistance Center. So today's demonstration is how to install a refresh corp upgrade file. So for this demonstration we'll be using UCCX version 8.5.1 SU4 and we'll be installing the refresh corp 1.9 so that we can upgrade the UCCX to 10.6 SU1. Now let, let, let me go ahead and run the command show version active. This will show us if there's any uh, software uh, files that have been installed apart from the active version that is running. So we can see that no installed software option found which means that there's no corp file that has been installed. So we are going to install the corp file on 8.5.1 SU4 so that we can proceed uh, with the upgrade to 10.6.1 SU1. For this demonstration I'm using uh, the SFTP software as free FTPD. And uh, th this is my uh, SFTP server information, the IP address, username, and password. And uh, I've created a user, Cisco. And in this, under this directory, desktop upgrade, I've downloaded and saved the 1.9 corp file. So this is the upgrade folder and I have the 1.9 corp listed. So let's go ahead and start with the installation of the corp file. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to run a command to check if the system is ready for an upgrade. So let me go ahead and run this command. Utils system upgrade status. This should come back with a message stating that uh, the, the server is ready for an upgrade. If not, then it will come back with a different message. So we get the upgrade status ready to be configured. So we are ready to go ahead and install the corp file. To install the corp file, I'll go ahead and run the command utils system upgrade initiate. So I'm initiating the upgrade from the command line interface. Now we have four different options. First is to remote and search a file using the SFTP. The second is the use of FTP. The third is a local CD DVD. And the fourth option is to quit the installation. So in this demonstration, I'll be using SFTP. So I'll go ahead and press one and hit enter from the keyboard. Directory, I want it to source from the main directory. So I'll just use a slash. Now I have to put in the IP address of my SFTP server. So I'll just copy the IP address hit enter put in the username Cisco password all right it checked for valid upgrade files and it came back with one file that's the corp file that was listed in the upgrade folder. So there's just one file and this is the file we need. So we, I'll, I'll choose the option, first option and hit enter. Now it's trying to access the file. Once it finds the file, it'll try and download the file onto the UCCX. All right, the verification is completed. Now we get a message saying, do you want to start the installation? So we'll do yes. And this will go ahead and start the installation of the COP file. So we can clearly see that uh, it will take 50, 60 more seconds for the COP to get installed properly. So it came from 75 to 60. So let's go ahead and monitor this for a few more seconds here. Now it turned to 45. What will happen is, as soon as the COP file gets installed, it will go ahead and terminate the uh, command line and the web sessions. Th that will happen automatically. Now we can see 30 seconds. It clearly prints a warning, all CLI and GUI sessions will be terminated in 30 seconds due to the installation of the refresh upgrade COP file. That's pretty self-explanatory. 15 seconds.
All right. It's completed. It'll go ahead and print a success message. Successful install of refresh upgrade cop file 1.9. It says all web page and command line sessions will terminate shortly and it goes ahead and terminates the command line session. So let's wait for a few minutes and then we'll go ahead and log into Party and check if the COP file was installed successfully or not. So I waited for approximately uh, five minutes and then I opened another Party session uh, for the 851 SU4 and now I'm logged into the Party session. So a very important command that helps in determining if the COP file got installed properly or not is the command that I'm about to run right now. So the command is file tail install system hyphen history dot log. When I run this command, it will show me the time when the COP file installation started we can clearly see that this is the COP file and the event that we are trying to check is start. So it starts at about 41 minutes past 12 and gets completed in 47, and that's like 6 minutes, and prints a success event. So this is a very important command in case if you want to monitor the uh, whether whether you you install the uh, in, uh, upgrade ISO properly or you performed the switch version properly or uh, was the DRS backup successful, you can run this command and tail the latest event and check if it prints a start, success or a failure event. So we can clearly see in the output of system history logs that the COP file installation was successful. Now let's go ahead and run the command show version active. This should show, go ahead and list the 1.9 refresh upgrade COP file as one of the active softwares that have been installed. Yeah. So the COP file is now getting listed. So what this means is now we can go ahead and install the upgrade image. I hope this has been informative and thank you very much for viewing.